Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Chat by Copy AI, the new Chat GPT competitor built specifically for marketing and sales. So, as you can see here, this is the landing page for Chat by Copy AI. And what it says here is scale your vision with Chat by Copy AI, the most natural way to interface with AI to research, create, and achieve. Now we can see that this has recently been featured on Product Hunt and it has received over 4,600 upvotes. So it has done very, very well. Now they have a brief description on here. So I'll just quickly read this. It says that Chat by Copy AI is the smarter chat GPT that helps you get more done, scrape websites for public data, generate personalized copy, summarize YouTube videos into bullet points, and so much more with the next generation of AI chat. So let's just have a quick look at the screenshots on here. So we can see there is a library of ready-made prompts that you can use. We can see some more of its features here. So it has search the web, write personalized content and create and repurpose content. And this screenshot has an example of what it can do. So the prompt was write a personalized cold email and it has written that email just here. So let's go back over to the Copy AI landing page for chat by Copy AI. And you can see that you can currently try this for free with no credit card required. So to get started, simply click this button here, create your account or login, and then you can start using chat by Copy AI for free with your free trial. Now I already have an account, so I'm simply going to log in. And as you can see here, I am on my Copy AI dashboard. So from here to get to chat by Copy AI, we're just going to go over to the left menu and we're going to click on to chat. And here we are. So now we can see that it says, welcome to chat by Copy AI. Get started by writing a task and chat can do the rest. Not sure where to start? Check out the prompt library for inspiration. And what's great about this is that chat by Copy AI has real time search. So it can access the internet as well. It can write long form content and it can help you to brainstorm ideas. So let's have a quick look at the prompt library by clicking browse prompts down here. So here is the prompts library for chat by copy AI. These are split into some different categories. We have content and SEO, email marketing, paid ads, communications, sales, and social media. Now you just need to use the prompt that is relevant to you. So if you want to generate a YouTube video description, you can use this one here. If you want to write a Twitter thread, you can use this one here. However, I'm going to go up to content slash SEO. And as you can see, we now have all of these content and SEO prompts that we can use. So we have blog post, article generator, attention grabbing headlines, which I quite like, the sound of, SEO keyword ideas, and many more as well, all related to content and SEO. So what I'm going to do is use the blog post prompt down here. So we can click onto that and we can see the preview just here. So what we need to do is add a topic and some key points for the blog post. So let's click use prompt just here. And as you can see, the prompt has been added at the bottom down here into the input box. So we have write a blog about a topic, make sure to focus on key points. So we need to fill in the blanks here. So we need to select a topic for our blog and some key points for the blog to focus on. So I think it's best to keep this quite simple for this first example. So for the topic, I'm going to put side hustle ideas for 2023. And then we have the key points down here. So I'm simply going to click onto this and I'm going to add a few side hustle ideas that we want it to focus on. So I'm going to have sell digital products, start a blog, make YouTube videos, flip furniture. There we go. So now we are ready, we can simply hit enter. 
and Chat by Copy AI is now going to start writing a blog about side hustle ideas for 2023, focusing on selling digital products, starting a blog, making YouTube videos, and flipping furniture. Now I realized I wrote make YouTube video and not videos, but I think this will be okay. Yep, that has make YouTube videos. So we have a good section for sale digital products and a good section for starting a blog. Then we have make YouTube videos and finally flip furniture as well. And it's also starting to add a conclusion at the bottom down here. So there we go. That was incredibly quick. Chat by Copy AI has written us a blog post in a matter of seconds. So I'm just going to give this an upvote so it knows that I'm happy with the outcome. And yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. So that took no time at all. Now we will need to proofread this and make some changes to make sure that it makes sense and the information is correct. But from what I see, this looks pretty good. Now I don't like how big this section here is with no bullet points or anything like that. And I think maybe some bullet points could be added to the make YouTube video section, similar to how the previous two do have that. But I think this is pretty good. Now, like I said, chat by copy AI also has access to the internet. So if I simply ask it, what is the world population? It should come back with a good answer. Let's see what this says. Okay, so we have the data just here, which says, according to the United Nations, the world population is expected to reach 8 billion by mid-November 2022. Now we're currently at 2023 in March. So I would like a more up-to-date version. However, I think this is okay. And then we have two sources as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now to check how accurate and up-to-date the internet access for this is. I'm going to ask it who the goal scorers were in Liverpool's win over Man United. Now what I'm going to do first of all is check the date for the game because I don't want to blame chat by copy AI if I've given it a bad input. So Liverpool beat Man United 7-0 on the 5th of March 2023. Now I'm going to try and see if it can give me the goal scorers. So by doing this, I'll be able to see how up to date its data actually is. So I've written who were the goal scorers when Liverpool beat Man United 7-0 in March 2023. So let's see if it's able to answer this. This is quite interesting. If it is, this is amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the goal scorers when Liverpool beat Man United 7-0 in March 2023 were Mohamed Salah, Cody Gakpo, I'm not sure why it says Facundo Nunes, because his name is Darwin Nunes. However, he may have another name. Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane. Now, he doesn't play for Liverpool anymore. So this isn't completely accurate. The goal scorers were Cody Gakpo, Darwin Nunes, Mohamed Salah, and Roberto Firmino. I'm not sure where it got Sadio Mane from. So this isn't, there's some sort of error here. So I'm going to give it the down vote just because it is currently in beta. So that will give it some feedback. But this is interesting because it's basically right, but they've just added Mane who no, who no longer plays for Liverpool. Now I'm going to do another way of checking the live data by asking it the score of a current cricket match that's going on as I record this video. And that is a test match between Australia and India. In the test match between Australia and India, what is the current score? Let's see, because this could take one from years ago, but there is a game going on right now. Let's see. 
Okay, so according to the Sports Kida website, Australia scored 480 runs in the first innings of the fourth test match. Okay, that's all correct. India are currently 36 for no loss. Okay, so India are currently 289 for three, but that may just be because this is slightly behind. So this is about, okay, so this is quite good actually. I think this is, this is good, okay. So it can access data which is currently on the internet. Now, does this only have access to certain websites? Let me, I'm going to ask if it can change its source to another website and then see what response it gives me. So this is a Cricket Scores website, ESPN Crick Info. So I've simply asked it to change its source to ESPN Crick Info. I'm just interested to see if it's able to do that. Uh, okay, it still has India are currently 36 for no loss. So that means it must be just a few hours behind. So I know that it basically has all the data live up until yesterday. So it's basically 24 hours behind, give or take a few hours. So this is quite good to know. Now what I'm going to do is ask it to write a report of day one from this game. Now I'm not going to give any more specific information. I'm going to see if it's able to figure it out on its own. And wow, okay, that is impressive. So all I said was, please can you write a match report from day one of that game? And it says, sure, here's a match report from day one of the fourth test match between India and Australia. Now we know this information is correct because they did score 480 in the first innings. Australia did win the toss and bat first. Okay, I think... This information is correct. Now I would want to of course read through this and make changes to make sure that these statistics are correct but I think this looks pretty good. Okay so this is quite revolutionary for sports writers and content creators, for marketers, for salesmen. This is impressive. Okay I think this may be better than chat GPT for certain things, especially the fact that it has access to the internet as well. Okay, so now what we need to do is think of other interesting ways that we can use this tool. So let's go at the bottom down here and click browse prompts again, just to get some more ideas from this. Okay, actually, this has given me an idea. So what I'm going to do is ask it to turn this match report into a Twitter thread. So I've said, please turn the match report into an engaging Twitter thread. Let's see what it says now. If it's able to do this as well, this is impressive. Okay, so we have a seven part thread starting with Australia dominated the first day of the fourth test. Okay, this is absolutely fantastic. So it's created a match report and in seconds, it's also been able to turn it into an engaging Twitter thread. Okay, so I'm thinking that chat by copy AI could be the next big thing after chat GPT. This is an incredible tool and it has access to the internet as well. Now I'm just going to give one final example and I want to test its capabilities one step further. So what I'm going to do is ask it to write a YouTube video description and also ask it how I can get more views on a certain video. So I'm going to paste in the URL for the video. Now I'm going to be interested to see if it can access that and I'm going to say please write a 200 word video description 
and also tell me five ways this video can get more views. So I've entered a video URL and I've said please write a 200 word video description and also tell me five ways this video can get more views. Let's see what it does with that. Okay, so we have the response. It says this video is about how to add a video to a website. That's wrong. It starts off showing how to go to the sections tab and click on a video. Then it explains how to remove the heading and paste in the YouTube, sorry, and paste in the URL for a YouTube video. It also shows how to select a cover image and upload it. Finally, it explains how to add the cover image to give the video a nice clean look. I'm not sure where it's got this from. This is completely incorrect. The video is how to build a Shopify store. So that's not right at all. Then it says there are several ways to get more views on this video. It can be promoted on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. This will help it reach a wider audience. It can be shared on websites and blogs. Okay. The video can be embedded in emails and newsletters and it can be optimized for search engine results. Finally, the video can be promoted through paid advertising. Okay. And then at the bottom, it says overall, this video provides a great tutorial on how to add a video to a website. Okay. I'm not sure where it's got that bit from the section where there, where I've asked it, how the video can get more views. That's good but the video description hasn't really worked. I'm going to go to browse prompts and just see if there is a better way we can do this. So I'm going to use this prompt here and it says, write a hundred word YouTube video description that compels an, this specific audience. We will need to write our audience to watch a video on a certain topic and mentions the following keywords. So let's just use this and see how this will work. So first of all, we'll type in the audience. Now for the audience, I'm going to put entrepreneurs. So there we go. We have write a hundred word YouTube video description that compels entrepreneurs to watch a video on topic. Now the topic is how to build a Shopify store. And mentions the following keywords. Okay. I'm not quite sure what keywords I'm going to put here for the first one. I'm going to put build a Shopify store from scratch. Then I'm going to put add products to a Shopify store. And for the final one, I'm going to put optimize a Shopify store for search engines. Let me just, let me just write this properly. There we go. So we have completed this prompt. So let's see what this does. I'm hoping that by using the prompts within chat by copy AI, it will be able to give us some better content. So this video is a must watch for entrepreneurs who want to build a Shopify store from scratch. From setting up your store to adding products, we'll cover everything you need to know to get started. You will also learn how to optimize your Shopify store for search engines so that you can attract more customers and increase sales. Whether you're new to e-commerce or just getting started with Shopify, this video is packed with valuable tips and insights to help you succeed. Don't miss out on this opportunity to take your online business to the next level. Watch now and start building your Shopify store today. Okay, so that is much, much better than when we pasted in the video URL. Okay, so there is still some good features here. So there we go. That is chat by copy AI. We know that it does have access to the internet and it can create some amazing content, but sometimes it can get a little bit confused. However, this is currently in beta and it has literally just been released. So there we go. That is chat by copy AI. 
the next big chat GPT competitor. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. Once again, thanks and goodbye.